Hi there, welcome back to the Morning Brew. It's Friday and we continue now over here on the couch. Amber Hendren and Larry Aarons and a familiar face to uh, all of our uh, Morning Brew fans is Rosalinda Roman with New Mexicast. How are you? I'm doing very well. I was cracking up because we were swapping stories of back to school starting <laughs> and how the kids are just um, a little bit crazy because they're, the the yeah, right? they're not used to the new schedule. and how everything is affected by that. So we said you're going to carry this segment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is your job. I've got this. We're going to sleep in the yeah. corner over here. <laughs> I will ask you just a couple of quick questions before you take a nap. Yeah, that's um, a good idea. Yeah, that's a real good idea. Hey, when we last saw you, you were heading to the airport to get on a plane to go to Austin to be in a 48-hour film competition. That's right. Uh, it was my first time ever in Austin, and it was kind of funny because the competition, it was a little different than normal 48-hour film projects. This was called It's My Town. It was sponsored by New Amsterdam Vodka Company. And the idea was that they were having people, um, the, the teams create a little film highlighting the cool things about that city. Mm -hmm. Well, that was kind of funny for me because I had never even been to the city. But my job on the film was editing. And so uh, that was really fun for me. I I had never really done a uh, been point person on a project like that when since I've become a certified pro in in Final Cut Pro editing uh, system. So uh, yeah, it was fun. I I was really really happy when we made it in on time. <laughs> so, oh good. No yeah. pressure. No pressure. But, but do you do better under pressure, Rosalinda? Absolutely, absolutely. I just was writing on Facebook the other night. Um, I actually was just selected to do something. Do you guys know about Ignite? New Mexico. So a it's, little bit. Yeah, yeah, basically you go and, and do a speech in front of a group and um, I was lucky enough to be picked by the public to um, do this five minute talk. And the deadline for the slides was last Sunday or, or Monday. And um, I said, I feel like Cinderella waiting for that clock to come down and mm -hmm. see the thing turn into the pumpkin because um, I was doing it, of course, last minute. And I was laughing at myself thinking, this is really how I work, mm -hmm. you know, maybe from the years of working in television. Yeah, two minutes is, a, is an eternity. Totally. <laughs> oh, I got plenty of time. I have 44 seconds. That's right, yeah. yeah. So the, the episode you shot for New Mexicast is all about yeah. the filmmaking process. Yeah, so, so I figured that is top of mind. Not only did I do the Austin thing, but I'm actually just launching this um, filmmaking club at my daughter's school. And so if you guys want to take a peek, you guys know I'm a reporter and a mom. But there's another side of me. This is uh, me with my Go Gators hat. Um, and basically, I'm a director and a screenwriter. I've been doing it. This is me directing a film in Phoenix called Cookies for Callie. And um, that's the other side of my personality. It's kind of my hobby, and I, I really enjoy it. There's, uh, this was a 48-hour mm. film project here in Phoenix, I mean, uh, Albuquerque, that I'm holding my son there, Samuel, because he was wondering why mommy was gone for 48 hours. <laughs> but anyway, that's just, I just wanted to show a little clip of me in a different capacity, because that's really what this episode is about. And um, I'm actually going to be showing uh, three short films in this episode that I've made over the years. Oh. Uh, three to four minute films that we've made. And, I think the viewers might enjoy them. They're fun. They're, it's a different thing than featuring stories about someone else, so I'm a little uh, hesitant about that. But I think that it might be fun to see another side of what I do. So. And it's real. It is real. And, um, and a lot of the crews that I've worked with, some of the films are really basic, where it was my dog and my cat and my daughter, and that was the, the whole cast. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or uh, some of them, like Cookies for Kelly, are much more elaborate. and. Uh, big production, so it's been a lot of fun. And um, the reason I wanted to highlight it this week is because I'm actually going to appeal to the filmmaking community in New Mexico to ask them if anyone wants to get involved in this filmmaking um, yeah. club that I'm making for the school, um, please contact me, send me a note, because we're looking for mentors who will help teach, um, you know, we're going to do screenwriting and lighting and, you know, all the aspects sure. of making a movie, so. I'm sure someone out and there. And you're bringing will it right to them. Yeah, yeah, at a local school here in the East Mountains school? in Albuquerque. Yeah, from oh, second neat. to fifth grade. So um, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but uh, I figure we'll just wing it. The kids are excited. 
Oh, that'll be really fun yeah, and awesome fun. to come out with some with with the movie. Yeah, at the end of the, by the end of the year, we're going to start with screenwriting, and by the end of the year, we are actually going to shoot a movie. So um, I'm going to be leaning on everyone I know in the film. I mean, industry. they're going to have credits, you <laughs> yeah, know, these right. elementary school kids with some credits. Absolutely, and I I think that a lot of times in the talent shows that they put on, it's you know, they sing or they do things um, that they may never use those skills again. But mm -hmm. filmmaking in New Mexico, they could absolutely use those technical skills in the future here. Right. So I'm hoping it'll translate for them. So yeah, it's been fun. Is it hard to go from the front of the camera to directing and editing and all the technical you know I thought it would it. be I actually started my career as a one-woman band so this which is what I do now and so I think the fact that I've done both sides makes it easier to be a director um, when I first directed that first film I was really nervous and I thought I don't know anything about directing what am I doing mm -hmm. you know these are really great actors and amazing crew and I'm gonna mess this up but I've had a lot of feedback from actors, and they said that it seems that because I've been in front of the camera, I'm sensitive to the fact that you know this is them on the spot. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess it helps. Great. Nice. Yeah. Sure, it Always does. Always good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for letting me talk about my exciting endeavors. <laughs> and have a great trip. <laughs> Thank you. Rosalinda <laughs> Roman with New Mexico. You can see it right here on uh, UABQ Channel 27. Right More Morning Brew in just a sec.